Congressman Stephen Lynch uh, joining us now ahead of today's inauguration. First of all, we just want to thank you for your time today. Uh, we're curious where you're going to be physically located for today's events because this is a very unusual year. Right. So uh, yesterday we all had uh, uh, COVID tests. We had to go in for rapid tests and uh, they texted us our results. So I've been approved for, for uh, attendance. Uh, this morning we'll gather at the Capitol and then uh, w this is going to be very different from other, they tell us that this is going to be different from other uh, inaugurations. We will not be up on the platform. Uh, we will be down in the west front of the Capitol. So looking up at the at the stage. So uh, we'll also naturally be socially distanced. So, uh, you know, the chairs will be significantly separated. Uh, there won't be a huge crowd, obviously, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to be a little louder than than the average crowd in order to give uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris all the support that they deserve. We know that there's an unprecedented amount of security around the Capitol today for the last week or so. Um, what are you seeing and what is it like to see D.C. like this on Inauguration Day? You know, I went for my run yesterday. I, I, the, the mall is usually where I run, so we went up there and uh, there's probably 15,000, I would guess, uh, armed Nas Army National Guard along the mall. Uh, I have to say, the last time I saw something like that was actually uh, sort of in, in the green zone. Uh, I, I attended the first session of the Iraqi uh, Council of, of Representatives. And, uh, you know, during, during the war in Iraq, they had to cordon off the convention center uh, so, that, so that Parliament could meet. Uh, it, it was a very similar feeling. Uh, overwhelming military force, fences, uh, razor wire, uh, military vehicles, and, and like I say, you know, about 15 to 20,000 Army National Guard. So it's very much a siege-like atmosphere, unfortunately. Uh, but given the events of uh, January 6th, it's necessary. So uh, we hope it's enough protection uh, for, for the president, the new president and vice president. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. You said to me this is a happy day. Uh, I'm curious what you're most looking forward to with the incoming Biden-Harris administration. Well, to be honest with you, just to, just to put Trump in the rearview mirror, uh, that was a disaster. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the ending of his, his administration, if you can call it that, was, uh, I think, instructive. To, to his whole approach to government. It ended in an attack, um, an armed attack against the Capitol, against the government itself, which, which he incited. Uh, so I am just delighted to have him gone. I, I, I honestly have to say that. And, and I'm also very excited about Joe Biden. He is such a good and decent man. I've known him for quite a few years. Uh, the idea, you know, this new administration couldn't look any different, right, with Kamala Harris, a, a first woman of color, being uh, elected sure vice president, and, and, and so uh, I, I'm really excited about what they bring to the country. It, it's going to be a fresh start, a new beginning, I think. And so I'm hopeful. Uh, they've already indicated that they'll be reversing some of the, uh, you know, the Trump executive orders, getting back into the Paris Climate Accord. I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, our relationships with our, our allies will will definitely improve. Uh, you know, they're, they're as excited about this as some of us are. Uh, and so, and also the, the, the platform and, and the menu of ideas that they have uh, about how to address the pandemic, number one, but also uh, giving people relief with unemployment benefits and, and uh, uh, tuition, uh, student loan relief, uh, and the idea of getting a, a, a major transportation and infrastructure bill done that will help put people back to work. I think all of that is, is very, very important to, to turn the page and, and really get the country back on the right track. Okay. Congressman Stephen Lynch, thank you so much again for talking with us and stay safe today, okay? You too, Brianna. Thank you so much.